This footage is in 60 frames per second. It was recorded using a capture card, an Elgato HT60S. It was recorded using a capture card because the built-in Xbox game DVR can only record videos at 30 frames per second. So you need a capture card to record 60 FPS clips from Xbox. Or do you? Dane, or Depth Aware Video Interpolation, is a new AI software that allows you to make videos with slow frame rates appear faster. What Dane basically does is guess what frames would be in between your original frames. The developers of this software have generously made it free to the public, so you could actually go download the software right now. But you do need a pretty powerful computer for Dane to even function. I'll leave the links in the description. I'm going to be testing Dane on version 0.40 on a 30 frame per second clip I recorded using the built-in DVR. Here's the original clip. And here is how it looked after using Dane to make it 60 frames per second. That looked pretty good, right? Let's see how it looks at half speed. The video still looks pretty good at half speed, but you can notice a few inconsistencies that shouldn't be there. Like if you look at the kill feed, you're noticing that it fades in and out kind of, like it's a little bit choppy. And when I turn quickly, there's a little bit of a blur. But other than that, that's about it. If you're playing it to someone regularly, just at normal speed, it'd be hard for them to tell. So. Honestly, Dane works pretty good to make a Halo 5 clip 60 frames per second. Again, if you want to download this software, I will leave the links in the description. But be warned, you really, really do need a powerful computer for this to even work. I have a pretty good gaming PC, but it took me more than two hours to process that 15 second video. So, be warned. <laughs> If you have not very good computer, or even a good one, it can take a very, very long time to process anything. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and share it if you thought it was interesting or informative. And if you want, you could support the developers on Patreon. Considering that they make their software free, they ask for donations on Patreon to keep their project running. Again, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.